Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Meek again. Let me just grab my phone over here. Um, today we're going to go through some really beautiful women's watches that I thought you guys would like, but we're only talking about watches that are not Patek, Rolex or Audemars Piguet. And that's because I feel like those three brands have kind of become like the big H and the big C and the big LV of the watch world. Um, and everyone just ends up kind of purchasing from those brands and following those brands. And um, don't get me wrong, I love them, <laughs> okay? Particularly AP, that's my favorite out of those three um, watch houses. But I feel like there's so many other really cool watches out there. I'm really obsessed with watches at the moment. I look at watches every day. I think 2023 is going to be the year of watches um, for me. Um, so I wanted to show you some really beautiful ones that I had found that I thought you guys would love. Let's first start off here with this beauty right here. Well, these two beauties, should I say. And you're going to be really shocked. These are from Van Cleef & Arpel. I've told you guys many times before, I have beefs with Van Cleef & Arpel, honey. One of my beefs um, with the VCA brand is I don't like the Alhambra line. I like the Perle line, the Perle Clover line. And then I saw these Perle watches on the VCA website. I thought they were super beautiful. This this one here is the Perle Watch 23 millimeter, um, in 18 karat yellow gold um, with a beautiful mother of pearl dial. This is super gorgeous, super beautiful. Love this. I think this is so elegant. Um, it has a really nice vintage vibe to it. I like Van Cleef and Arpels, um, like jewelry and watches when it looks vintage so i don't like the alhambra that's the line everyone likes i personally don't like that line i've told you guys many times before and it's not because it's too popular or anything like that that's not the reason why um i don't like it i don't like the shapes um i prefer the louis vuitton's monogram um shapes more compared to the alhambra shapes however now the Perle um, Clover line or the Perle line, I think is much more um, my style. There's a vintage vibe to it. I like vintage um, vibes. I love like 70s and 50s. Um, there's something about um, the, the way the watches look from this um, line that look much more vintage and I really like it. I don't think it's fair to, for anyone to call a Van Cleef & Arpel watch a fashion watch. I think there is a lot of artistry that goes into a lot of their watches, particularly the more like high jewelry watches they have a lot of like hand painted dials and things like that this is super beautiful so 18 karat mother of pearl pearly watch in yellow gold i think this is gorgeous you could wear this day to day it's nice enough to wear on the evenings absolutely stunning now there's this beauty here which is also 23 millimeters <laughs> Um, 18 karat yellow gold with an onyx dial, honey. The dial is onyx. Like, that's what I like about um, VCA. They're not um, afraid, in terms of watches, to take risks. I much more prefer Van Cleef & Arpels watches um, to their fine jewelry. I just don't really, like I said, I don't like the Alhambra line. And the Alhambra line is the most popular um, line from VCA, but the watches honey and the like clover um, jewelry line, I do like that. So I really, really like these watches. I wanted to show them to you. I think this Onyx one, again, you could wear it in evenings, you could wear it during the day. If you're someone who wears a lot of black, it's Onyx honey, okay? The dial is Onyx. Absolutely stunning. I don't know how much these are, but I just wanted to show you because I thought they were super beautiful and worth a look. The next one that I wanted to show you is this really beautiful Pave diamond watch from um, Ferragamo. I think this is so special, so beautiful, so unique. I think the dial has more than 100 diamonds. It's just 2,150 euro in the EU. And it's also 2,000, I think it's like 2,500 and something in the US. I saw this on the website yesterday and I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is so stunning. Like so many diamonds great price point um it goes without saying pretty much all of the watches that we're going to mention in this video are all quartz movement watches um obviously they're going to be quartz movement watches generally speaking fashion brands i mean jewelry brands prefer to use quartz at the end of the day you should buy the watches that you like and that make you happy i've told you guys before my philosophy with watches is that for me it's about aesthetics 
Um, I'm going to mention a brand in this video. My husband actually got a watch um, from the men's line from Versace. He's ordered it um, and it's on its way. I'm super excited um, to see that watch. Now he decided he was just going to order it cold and have it shipped to Tanzania. Obviously we're going traveling next month so I said I'm going to wait um, to get to Versace to try on the, to try on the women's watches. So he ordered a men's watch um, but I wanted to show you um, some of the really cool women's watches when his watch comes through i'll show you anyway because i haven't seen like a versace men's watch unboxing in the longest period of time so i thought it could be pretty cool i'll show you guys the men's watch from versace but the women's watches are so beautiful i've shown these before let me just put them up on the screen again because i think they're so special and so fun there's this logo one with a circular dial and then there's this other one which is much more elegant and then just says versace on the side the one that has the more square dial that is 990 euros the one that has the circular dial with the with the like typography that one's 790 that obviously quartz um they don't have diamonds obviously um um the previous one that i just showed you from ferragamo that one has diamonds so it's 2150 euros these ones don't have diamonds obviously so they're not going to be um as expensive i am interested in buying either both of these or one of them depending on which one um, looks better at first i really liked the one with the typography that just said versace versace all over because you know big versace is one of my favorite houses but then when i saw this other one with the versace on the side with the more square uh, or re let's say rectangular dial I was like, oh my god, I'm also obsessed with that one, so I'm super excited to try them on. So for me, I have to try them on because I need to see the way the dial fits on my wrist. My husband knows his his like wrist size well, and he really likes watches, so he was like, I'm going to just order it, it's fine. And I, I'm pretty sure that his is very big. I think his is like, I don't know, I think it's like 43 or 45 um, millimeters. It's a very big men's watch from Versace, whereas these ones are not big at all. They're obviously the lady sizes. So I think they're gonna be like 28 millimeters. Um, I don't know, 28, maybe even 23, maybe even 25, I don't know, I'll have to just double check. But I thought these were super beautiful, um, so I wanted to show you. So I'm really excited to go and try these on. I'm definitely interested in, in getting at least one of them. We'll see which one looks the best on me. Like I said, at first I thought the typography one was going to be the one that I was going to take because I thought that one was just much more like me and my personal style. I love that it said Versace everywhere. But then that one, the rectangular one that says Versace on the side, don't you think that one's so cute which one out of the two do you like tell me which one you think i should get if you had to pick one like which one um would you pick if you had to pick one i think the uh Chopin happy watch line is really really cool i wanted to just quickly show you once i think i've posted these in the group as well um they're super beautiful they're really nice they come with um exotic straps they come in a wide variety of colors i'll just put up the ones that i like on the screen they're really beautiful some of them have diamonds some of them have rubies they're super luxurious also very well priced i think some of them including the diamonds and the rubies like the price point is like seven thousand euros and something like that so they're not like it's not like super expensive or anything like that so i thought those ones were also really gorgeous i had to show you them another watch that i really like <laughs> is from big gucci it's this watch right here the dial has these really cool straps it's also very well priced it's 1300 i think this is a really stylish watch that you can wear from day to day and i just love the colors of it as well i really really like this i was quite surprised by how much i like it i don't like a lot of gucci's other watches but i really like this this one so I thought it was worth mentioning now there's one brand whose watches I think need some work not crazy about Fendi's watches I was looking at their watches the other day um, not completely nuts however saw this one I thought this one was very elegant really 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 nice um, I feel like they should add some more designs although maybe they are because a while ago I did check their um, watch lines um and their watches that they were offering and the designs have improved but i still think they're not as nice as versace's watches i think versace have really 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 cool edgy watches they have really flashy ones with medusas everywhere they have ones that have no medusa um, iconography like on the uh dial of the watch and then you get the medusa on the back of the watch which is pretty cool something else that i liked about the ferragamo watch which i previously previously have shown you is there is a like drawing at the back of the dial i think of the original uh, ferragamo like building where salvador ferragamo started the brand i believe that it's like i think it's of the original building 
something I'm not sure I have to double check I like little details like that it's like on the back of the dial you would not be able um, to see it if you don't own the watch and no one else will know it's there I kind of like things like that I think they're very fun what do you guys think about these watches that I have shown you here I'm going to have a dedicated video tomorrow to Louis Vuitton's watches for women um, I think that you guys should watch that video because I think Louis Vuitton are doing some really exciting things in the watch space like for women um, as I always tell you for me it's about aesthetics I don't care about movements and stuff like that I decided not to mention Cartier because I feel like Cartier's watches are not um, and, and and like I said I feel like Van Cleef and Arpel's watches are not fashion watches the other watches I mentioned from Versace, Gucci and Ferragamo those are definitely fashion watches um but i wouldn't say van cleef and arpel in cartier's watches are fashion watches there is a there is a level of artistry that has gone into particularly a lot of van cleef and arpel's watches like if you go on the website like the, some of the dials are hand painted hand painted i beg your pardon and even with cartier they have a great um history in watchmaking um so i don't feel like it's fair to call them fashion watches but at the end of the day for me um, I look at the aesthetics um, of the uh, watch itself like I have to see the way like it looks I have to like the way it looks so the ones which I'm interested in are the Versace ones I want to try on that Ferragamo um, Pave diamond one to see what it looks like I love that um, you I, I mean I know what people say about those diamond watches is that you can barely read the time like you're struggling to read the time I love that <laughs> that's just me personally I love it I think it's really cool um, and I, I love stuff like that so I also want to try that one on they have a boutique on the um, Avenue Montaigne so I'll make sure to go check that one out as well I really hope that you guys like this video please make sure that you're fully subscribed vlogmas is ending <laughs> next week have you guys been watching these videos yes or no do you like them i hope that you have been enjoying them um and it's been it's been an interesting vlogmas period this year it's been i don't know it's been very i don't know it's been a very interesting vlogmas period i don't know how to explain it but anyway this month i have been super obsessed with watches um i'm really really obsessed with watches at the moment particularly from fashion brands like those are the watches that i am looking at um let me just quickly tell you some watches that i like i won't put them up on the screen i'll just mention them quickly by name um i think my taste with cartier watches is changing i like the tank now more than the panther um like watches um i like the uh, cartier tank uh must i also like the cartier tank francaise i like um, obviously, as I said, the Versace uh, fashion watches, I think those ones are really, really nice. I also like the Chopin Happy line. I think that it's just such a fun, beautiful, luxurious watch. I think the cool thing about watches for women is like you can have watches for different things. You can have them for work, you can have them for evening events, you can have them for like things going on in your life, and you can have them for a wide range of um, reasons. And I love the idea of having a different watch for a different reason. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you guys have liked this video. I would love to hear from you you to know which watches that you guys like um, from fashion brands and what are you vibing with the most thank you so much for watching <laughs> and i'll see you tomorrow in my next video